All right, guys, I um, just want to talk about goal resets. Um, one of the things that's often pushed was a five-year plan, and I think that's probably more difficult these days unless you're living in a traditional working life where everything's very structured and um, guaranteed. Because, let's face it, the COVID situation put a spanner in the works. Um, you get a lot of stuff in life that puts a spanner in the works. So I would say, like with a long-term objective, a long-term goal, say you, you want to move to Thailand or whatever, put it on the list, but with no date, that's an end objective. That's that's the uh, your final goal as such. Um, <clears throat> because the other bits before it, other bits that are going to affect the final decision on you getting to Thailand or buying a Maserati, whatever it is. Um, so you, the point with the long distance ones, because you've got a whole five year plan. Five year plan, like I said, I think it's outdated these days because we're in a world with automations on the rise. We're in a world where job securities had a lot of shifts on it. Um, we're in a world where COVID has disrupted everything. We're in a world where a ridiculous amount of companies have gone bust. I'm sure they'll be sucked up like a vacuum by, by larger companies um, that can afford to ride it out. Um, but I mean, this is the <coughs> opportunity in chaos scenario. But anyway, the point being is not to give up on your objectives, not to give up on your goals. But sometimes you need to reset them, reevaluate them, and still head towards them. Um, myself at the moment, as you know, the house was the main one for last year and was the main one for the last five, six years to actually find the right location, buy the property, renovate it, do all those bits and pieces. Um, for me, that was a long-term objective where which I'd planned to do within five years um, but I want to get another four properties um, now <clears throat> with me I'm parking getting the properties further up the list it's not like I'm gonna do this now do this now because of everything else is going on it doesn't mean they're forgotten but it does mean for example you do the short and medium term first and then if the opportunity arises, you take one of those properties and buy it. It's very simple. Um, so, for example, my short-term ones. I've got some training I need to do, um, health and safety one. It's a five-day course. I've got to get that knocked off the list. Um, I'm looking at how to make money on TikTok. I've got a training course on that, so I'm having a look at that. Because it's not really an industry, well, not really a platform. I've had too much to do with and generally I don't get the value on it but doing the course out of interest because if there's an opportunity there why not take it um, I've got stuff to do with um, building scanning BIM modelling which is a fairly chunky one as you can hear first one first five day course the TikTok one which will take me a day and then the other bits fall on after that which will take months um, but the point being is your focus is on nibbling away at it to get to your end objectives. So your short term ones, I start with the shortest of the shortest and then work forward. You know, if the shortest of the shortest was the most expensive, it may not be the first one I do. Um, but the point being is you put a structure to everything. So the five day course I'm going to look at doing in the next four weeks, maybe a day a week or whatever. Um, to get it finished the TikTok one we'll probably do over this weekend um, but the point being is set your objectives out and head towards it disruption will occur that's life I mean I've had some major issues over the last few years um, we had some I've had two two of my parents died well both of my parents died um Loads of issues with family members um, scurrying around after money. I mean, the way my, my view on it, and I made it very clear, was 
that wasn't our money anyway. It was my the parents' money, so it was never really for me. The money wasn't really relevant. I was more concerned about the fact we just lost our parents. But I know a lot of you guys have experienced the same problems. So yeah, where all that comes from in people is beyond me. So that's got put a few things. Work changes. It's got put a few things. Experimenting with life in Spain, making it more fluid. Uh, sustainable experimenting with the the bar and restaurant and stuff like that um, they're more around experience but you couldn't actually say well that that was a goal east it wasn't it was more um, experimenting to see what you have to do to get to that point um, which um, to be fair is doable in Spain for what I want. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not putting other guys off, because to be fair, if you can work remotely, you'll do okay here. If you can do um, uh, work as a waiter and live off those sort of wages, you can do it. The, the reality is, the opportunities are there, you know, but for me, I've got a wife, two kids, etc. I can't work at that level anymore. I've got to have a bigger income, because um, I've got more cost of living, um, but ultimately I'm looking for something a bit bigger um, but the opportunities are still there they haven't changed I mean if you learn Spanish you, you, you can get your foot in the door in a lot of places quite easily um, so, so my point being is you've got to assess everything and then obviously we've had um, the recent typhoons in the Philippines has ripped the roof off one of my properties, damaged the windows. Um, that's just took a few thousand pounds to start the repairs on there. Then obviously COVID situation has impact, impacted my wife's family, although they don't need that much support, trying to help them uh, develop businesses because the issue in the Philippines is the country is pretty much stagnant at the minute because um, the whole COVID, COVID issue, um, from what I'm led to believe, which is a bit like that, because I'm relying on a lot on the media, um, has been not great, to be polite. Um, it has affected a, a lot of people. So you get sidetracked on these things, and you go, right, got to do a little bit here. But then get back to your goals get back to your objectives um, drive things forward don't stop you know whatever you do do not stop that's what most people do or they keep putting it off don't put it off reassess it reevaluate it right I've got all this headache to do this month right I'm gonna do it on the 1st of February and start the 1st of February don't delay it any longer Unless something happened, like somebody got in a car crash or something that you're directly involved in. You need to complete your goals when you can. Um, and keep driving that forward. Because it's the only way you move forward. This is where, I think the, what's that um, TV show? There's one on Netflix, I think it's called F for Family or something. Um, where the guy, in the intro, you can see he had all his plans. And his entire life just passes passes him by without actually doing anything ends up working at an airport that's what happens to most people they do not complete you know oh, I wanted to be an artist I wanted to be a photographer I wanted to do this I wanted to travel I wanted to experience this you will have times you have to make sacrifices and there's other times other people have to make sacrifices for you if, if they're not willing to do that then that is part of the problem you know, because there is people out there will do absolutely nothing for anybody else. Um, and that's where you sort of go, well, I'm in the wrong job, I'm in the wrong relationship. It's just not working. And it's not you being selfish, because guess what? You only have one life. Everyone's got one life. Unless you found something I have, <laughs> the elixir that will give you life forever um, reality is you're on a ticking clock so all I can say is head towards your goals and you will have stuff sometimes it's horrendous 
you know, some of the times I've had over the last few years, it has been difficult. But I just push on. Um, I mean, last year, well, yeah, last year, I had a bit of a heart issue come up. I just stopped, slowed down a bit, reassessed, moved forward. <clears throat> Didn't stop anything. It slowed me down a bit because it's going to take a bit of common sense in there. <clears throat> but it's realization, too much commitment to the work, too much commitment to our business. Um, and it's not in my company um, that you sort of go, it's just not worth this. And you take your foot off the throttle. Um, reassess, move forward. And that's all I can recommend for most people. And I do get it. Um, the next video after this one will be a bit more interesting because, <clears throat> well, not more interesting, different subject. Uh, got, <clears throat> got to drink my coffee. Um, got to talk about depression a bit. Um, so give me two minutes. I've got to drink my coffee and I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching.